creating a snow scene, or one attempt at a snow scene using Scratch. Um, we have our sprite, we have our stage. Let's start by working with the stage. <clears throat> I'm going to edit the background so rather than a blizzard, we have a dark winter sky. I've chosen some black ink, pouring that in to the screen there, or to the stage there. Let's look at our sprite. I'm interested in the scripts for the sprite. Let's just um, have a go at a pentagon to start with. This will be familiar to anybody who's worked on the sort of crystal flower logo. So I'm going to need a clear instruction, I'm sure, when things go wrong. Pop the pen down, set the pen colour to white, and then let's just have a go at drawing a pentagon, as I say. So repeat five times, move forward a little bit, say 50 steps to be going on with, and then turn right through the right angle for a pentagon, which is the exterior angle 72 degrees, 360 divided by 5. Double click the script, and we should see the cat trace a pentagon. There we go, isn't that impressive? Let's have another one. So we've got a couple of pentagons there. Okay, so now on to sort of crystal flower type stuff. I'm wanting some sort of six-like symmetry here, so we'll repeat this process six times. And after each pentagon, turn right through 60 degrees. So six lots of 60 should get us back to where we started, and we should see some sort of pent um, pentagon-based snowflake emerging. Isn't that lovely? And let's do another one now. How splendid is that? Okay, so what could we do from here? Well, we could make this a little more complicated by perhaps having the cat move on a number of steps after each pentagon, so we'll have a hole in the middle. I think we'll probably lose the relevant symmetry when we do this. Clear the screen again. Let's have a look now. Okay, so not, that's not bad actually, is it? I think we could say that's snowflake-like. And you could add more and more complicated instructions in here, I'm sure, to make this a more and more complicated snowflake design. Let's have a look at the numbers which we've got here. This 6 here is because it's snowflake-like. The 5 is because I wanted a pentagon. This is the size of each bit of the pentagon, or each side of the pentagon. This is linked to the 5 as well, because these two multiply together to make 360. This again is for my snowflake six-fold symmetry. And this is a kind of changeable number, so we can change this 50 steps and move forward 30 steps. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Uh, pen down. A very different design emerges. Not sure which one I prefer. I think I preferred that one, actually. But we could play around with these. So rather than changing each of those as we're going through, let's make a few variables here. We're going to have one which is the side length of the pentagon in this case. Um, actually, we're going to have another variable, which is the number of sides. And we're going to have another variable, which is the step to take at the end there. So let's pop those in and have some initialization going on. So when I click on the green flag, clear the screen, and let's set up those variables as we want them. So set the number of sides to 5, set the size of each side, the side length to, I think we liked 50, didn't we? So let's pop the 50 in there, and set the step size to 20, and join those together. So move the side length, the step size goes in here, and turn through the number of sides. The 72, as you remember, is determined as the exterior angle because we've got five sides. Oops, uh, that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean side, did I? I meant number of sides. Repeat number of sides, and then we've got to calculate this. So instead of 72, it's going to be 360 divided by the number of sides. And with a little bit of luck, that should get us roughly the same pentagon as we started with, snowflake design as we started with. Isn't that nice? 
These numbers up here, we could set randomly. So we could get the computer to choose what numbers to put in here. So we have this random number generator thing in here. So let's say anything between a triangle and a decagon. The side length, again, choose some numbers. So you can tweak this until you get the sort of scene that you're interested in. So let's have relatively small side lengths here from 10 to 40. And the step size we could have from absolutely no steps at all to say, let's put 30 in there. So this will choose a random snowflake design. And I suppose we could have right at the beginning, let's put the cat right back in the center of the screen. So when we start the thing clear and go to the position zero, zero, the origin of the coordinate system. Set pen color actually could come up here, couldn't it? Okay, so set pen color, clear the screen, go to the origin, pick some random numbers, and then draw us a snowflake. Here we go. Okay, we had a slight problem in that the pen was still down, so I suppose we ought to pick the pen up at the end of the previous program. Let's try that. Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's try another one. So that's looking lovely. I suppose it's better rather than having to keep dragging the cat out of the way to actually hide the cat. So here on the looks palette, let's hide the cat as part of our initialization. Hours of endless fun. So this is very much forming aesthetic judgments as to which of these look more or less snowflake-like. If we wanted to do our snowflake scene, we can very easily adapt this by just picking the right number of snowflakes. So repeat 10 times all of these instructions, go to a position, pick a random number, and then do all of these bits. The position I'd like it to move to, I'm going to determine randomly here. So again, I'm going to use a random number for, instead of going to always the origin, let's say it could be anywhere on the whole graph paper, from 240 up to 240, and the Y coordinate ranging from minus 180 up to 180. Uh, click on the green flag to start. One, two, tiny one. Okay, the overlapping perhaps needs a little bit of finesse, but that's not bad for a little snowflake scene. I don't think it's too bad. You, of course, may disagree. We could spend some time tweaking those numbers, but I think that's probably enough for now.